Now let's look at how to find the absolute value of a complex number. So first let's just look at some notation. So the way that we do some notation is a complex number can be written a plus bi and the absolute value sign is simply looks like this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the absolute value of a, uh, of a complex number. An example of this would be absolute value of 3 minus 5i. So the easiest way to think about this is to think about absolute value as the distance from 0. Think about that, that makes sense. We've done that before. The absolute value of 7 is equal to 7. If you put that on a number line, here's 0 and here's 7, and the distance there is 7. If you look at the absolute value of minus 4, that's 4. Why? If you had a number line, this is 0, and here's minus 4, what's that distance? 4. So we're going to use that definition to find the absolute value of, an, of a complex number, and we're going to use a definition, and the definition is we're going to say the absolute value is simply the distance from a plus bi to the origin in the complex plane. So if you need to review complex plane, then you look, watch the video graphing complex numbers. And it's pretty easy. And you can watch that. So what we do here is the first thing is we graph 3 minus 5i. So this is the real axis and this is the imaginary axis. So that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 3 minus 5i. Now you're going to find this distance right here. And the way that you're going to do this distance is you're just going to use some geometry. You're just going to draw up a, a right triangle. This distance here is 3 and this distance here is 5. If you want to think in terms of distances, this 3 and 5. If you want to think about in terms of a is equal to 3, and b is equal to minus 5. doesn't do any harm because it, we're going to square them anyway. So here you have, simply have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We can think of a distance form if you want to. So if this is what you need to know, let's call that z. So you have z squared. Uh, let's call it c, actually, because you think a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's call it c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So that c squared is equal to 3 squared plus 5 squared. Here's where it, you could really get caught in the details. You call this a minus 5 or a positive 5, but since you're squaring it, it isn't going to matter. So that's c squared is equal to 9 plus 25. Let's see, 9 plus 25 is 34, so you have c squared is equal to 34, or c is equal to the square root of 34. And we say that the absolute value of 3 minus 5i is simply the square root of 34. Let's look at another problem. Let's look at minus 2 plus 6i. Plot it again, again, right? Plot it so that's real is 2 and imaginary in this case, uh, actually it's minus 2 and a positive 6. That's 2 plus 6i. Sorry, minus 2 plus 6i. This distance here is minus 2 and that's 6. You can square up that right there. Or you can think of it in a slightly different way. In general, if this is a plus bi, and this distance here is the absolute value of a, and this is the absolute value of b, then c is always going to simply be a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. You can think of the absolute value, but since you're squaring it, it doesn't going to matter. 
So then C has to equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. And that's the other way you can do this is just formulaically. If we use that formula, that the absolute value of, of, of A plus BI is simply going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared, then that's minus 2 squared plus 6 squared square root. That's the square root of 4 plus 36 or the square root of 40. And you're done. Square root of 40 you can simplify. Square root of 40 you can break up into two numbers, one of which is a perfect square, so that's 4 and 10, so that's 2 root 10. So your final answer is the absolute value of minus 2 plus 6i is 2 square root of 10. Let's do one more quick example and let's um, change, uh, you, uh, let's add some notation. Let's say z is equal to 3 minus 5i and you want to find the absolute value of z. So all we've done is use the notation that z is equal to a plus bi, that way you don't have to always write a plus bi. So absolute value of z is simply going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared. In this case, a is 3 and b is minus 5. So that's 3 squared plus a negative 5 squared. 3 squared is 9. Minus 5 times minus 5 is a plus 25. Square root of 34. And that's all you do. That's how you find the absolute value of a complex number.